and a half years ago, a group of guys came down and we dug the foundation and we laid down the concrete, put the rebar in, and, and that team really set the stage. They, they said, you know what, uh, we're building the foundation for this orphanage just like uh, God builds the foundation in our life. It's such a great blessing to be able to speak to you all this morning and express once again my gratitude. It really had been made a great um, blessing to just see how God had helped us to accomplish one part of our big dream for these kids there. center come to pass. Uh, it was just a, a dream about nine months ago. Last August there were 300 kids and this time there were 500 so the need is definitely growing. The kids they have they like absolutely nothing. It was just crazy to see how many kids um, still need a place to live. How they only get one meal a day but how it's provided by um, Pastor Earl and all of his volunteers. I was a little overwhelmed by the first time I was here going to the feeding center. Uh, the first time we were there, you just see all these children coming from all, all directions. These children, they come there, and this may be the only meal they have that day. A lot of times these kids will come, and you'll see you know, four and five-year-olds carrying two-year-olds around. important as a meal sometimes that human contact, that love. There's about 30 volunteers that help Pastor Earl and they do all the laundry by hand every day. They cook about 400 meals a day for the feeding center and a lot of the workers don't have jobs so therefore they come to work and they walk for a mile or two and they have no shoes. So Pastor Earl thought it'd be a great idea to bring a pair of shoes to each one of the workers. It was easier to communicate with the kids because they know that you don't know a whole lot of Spanish.
to do the present wrapping again. We wrapped a lot of Christmas presents. There is not any word to express how thankful I am for your support and your encouragement and even making presence on, on the land as we go in through this grand opening. Well, it's been three and a half years in the making and wow, finally cut the ribbon. Uh, I think the, the most joyful part was watching the children run into the home to see their new beautiful home for the first time. Seeing the expressions on their faces when they finally cut the rope and when they got to go in and see their, their bed and their, their new like house, that was awesome. It's good to see kids move into the orphanage finally. And I will serve with you. Your spirit leads me on. Seeing it, like, it made me really happy because it was just, it was so amazing. The old orphanage was really, really shabby, but the new one had really amazing woodwork. great to have so many different teams come down and all of them really contributed. I think the girls were so excited just to have a better place than that they had before. So that was really neat to see their smiles and excitement. It's good to know that all the hard work paid off and that they really appreciate it. And this was an entire uh, team effort. And so I wanted to just say thanks to everybody. We just pray that God would um, just touch um, anyone um, that are open and listening to His voice to be able to support and stand behind us, that we will be able to conquer this dream and continue to bring more security, more hopes into these children, them, and not just hopes, but letting them feel that they are very special and that they are worthy to have a nice home where they are able to live as family, as we continue to reach out and to share the love of Jesus Christ. Because what Pastor Earl's doing down there and to support a lot of people, 
these kids have a place to go. As we talked in our group the other day, it's a light in a dark place for these children. Just that they're wondering, do I value? Do I matter to God? Do I matter to you? Um, do people care? One thing I saw was, I guess, is hope. And that's what we're here for, is to show uh, the children God's love. They just want someone to hold their hand, to give them a hug. Like any child, they, they just want a, a, a sense of security, a sense of love, and a, and a sense of that human touch of we're there to put our arms around them. What Cherry Holes has done and what Ken has done and, and many team, men's teams and family teams have done is show these kids that they care and that they do matter. They matter to God, uh, they matter to us. May God continue to bless you all and encourage many of you all to visit us and to continue to encourage us in our faith as we continue to press on in our daily walk with Jesus Christ. At the end of the day, we want to say thanks and uh, keep on serving God. God bless.